Christine here. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share some shabby chic cards, Christmas cards that I've been working on and some gift cards. Um, but first let me share with you some of the products that I've used real quick. I use this teeny tiny um, Cherry Lynn doily. It's two by two inch. I use this die here and it comes in pieces. And of course this adorable peeking Santa bear. I use this Lawn Fawn Tiny Tag Stamps, and I use these tiny tags. This I use all the time. Um, what is this called? Branch something? Woodland Branch. And one of my favorites, Spellbinder Dies. And I use this envelope die from um, My Creative Time. And these super cute mini bow dies from my creative time. And from Hobby Lobby, I use these little snowflakes, these pink little ornaments. And um, one of my favorite things I buy every year from Hobby Lobby. And these cute little peppermint churns. And I have a pink um, and white seam binding. I have a red one, but I can't find it at the moment. And here are my shabby chic Christmas cards. And I use one of my favorite paper lines, uh, Stamperia Pink, uh, Pink Christmas, and also uh, Prima's Santa Baby paper. And um, I did a couple six by six cards, and I did a ton of fussy cutting. And uh, let me see what I did here. I used my Hobby Lobby, um, what do you call that, trim here. I use some cheesecloth, and this is where I use that the wood branch die. And I have some of my favorite pearl sprays, feather, and I use my Martha Stewart punch to create um, branches in the back. Uh, I forgot to bring this die up. This is a, um, a Spellbinders um, poinsettia die, and I just cut off one of these little snowflakes for the center here. And I added my seam binding and um, some of my favorite lace trim from my sweet friend Mimi, who is Mimi Johnson Designs. Hey, girl. And let's see, and I have some flat back pearls and some lace. And I popped up um, this image and added some snow text all around. And I just have some um, seam binding as a hanger and I have a little bit of lace behind only because to hide the seam binding. And it is a, an easel card. And I just use these snowflakes from the same trim here as my stopper. And so what I'll do is I'll write, write my message um, at the top so you can't really see my, my writing. Isn't that cute? So this one is basically the same as this one just different images, but I just love, love, love it. Um, I think they still have it on sale, even maybe on Etsy, if you're interested in buying this design. And then I have a five by seven one, and I did fussy cut this tree, and um, it was a lot of work, but totally worth it. <laughs> but isn't this cute? I love it, and this is a, um, little jingle bell it doesn't jingle but it's so cute I love it and so those are my shabby chic cards okay next I wanted to share with you my um, shabby chic gift cards using the um, the peeking bear aren't they cute I love these and I made these bears guys probably I want to say maybe four years ago yes and I, I haven't used them and I thought you know what I have them in my stash I'm going to use them and um, so I added them to these gift cards and these gift cards are from um, my creative time aren't they cute and I use these tags are from Lawn Fawn and here are the charms I got from Hobby Lobby the snowflakes I'm not sure I got them from probably um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels and this is where I added that Cherry Lynn doily behind here and I use my Spellbinders dies as a layer and this I printed so many years ago and I'm finally now using them 
Um, I have this one, and on the inside I already have my note, and I already added the gift in there. So these are ready to go, and I just need to add the names. And the stamps are also from Lawn Fawn. And here's um, another one. It says, Unto us a child is born. Aren't they sweet? And I added the snowflakes. Um, that snowflake is also from Hobby Lobby. So cute. And here's a traditional red and green. And I love traditional red and green as much as I love shabby chic. Isn't that cute? I love it. And um, so I added the same thing. This is the same tag set from Lawn Fawn and the same little charms. And this sticker is also from Hobby Lobby. Isn't that cute? And this is another one. This is not a die, but I was inspired by, um, I've seen this card, um, gift card die like at many gift stores like Hobby Lobby. And I think KS Crafts has a um, gift card die on Amazon if you're interested. It's similar to that. But all you need to do is, you know, create a pocket and, um, and then create your top. And then I just added the, the bow for my creative time. I did another um, pocket using my Anna Griffin punch. And this is this tag from um, Lawn Fun. And um, I think that tag die is not even very much, but I wanted to challenge myself and um, see if I could do it. And it was pretty easy. And of course, you know, when you're using pattern paper, um, you have to make sure it's aligned properly, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm sure the recipient is not going to care about that. And so anyway, so that's my, my share, and I hope you like all my projects and are inspired um, by my cards and my gift card holders. And I would love it if you leave a comment, and um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I thank you all for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.